Another winning day yesterday on the morning wager. Red Hot 8-3 and three run on this show. And you want to talk about Red Hot. You never know where he's going to appear on the leaderboard. But by God, he is number one in our hearts, our souls. My good buddy, Mark Zinno. We bring him in. A 10-0 and right. Major League Baseball run. We're go- Hold on. I'm going to let you go off in a minute. I just want to let the people right. know what we're going to talk about. Our okay. usual... Our, we're going to dole out our usual winners in Major League Baseball. We're going to talk a little NFL preseason as the first yeah. week of the preseason starts tonight okay. with a couple games. We'll hit on both of them. Uh, but I believe there's something you would like to hit on here while oh. I uh, go in. Well, I go incognito here for a second. I mean, you could put that silly picture up there. We we know that you're ugly behind it. Um, but nonetheless. That, that, that was a ch- I'm a good looking man. Now, you can't you take that ugly, away from you know me. You know what is uglier? A guy who's 10-0 and and not at the top of the leaderboard. It doesn't make any sense. There it is. I'm 5-0 and and I'm in third. I don't understand how a guy who has three losses is in front of me. None of this makes any sense. This is the dumbest leaderboard ever. Okay, okay. This leaderboard must be done by the same people who do presidential polls. Oh, and so's ahead by 4.6 points. No, apparently they're not. Doesn't matter. Like, this, it doesn't look, okay? And the guy yesterday in the comment section who said I was being petulant, you're right. But I'm also not wrong because when you're 10-0, and 0, you can be at the top of the leaderboard. There's a guy there with 22 losses right behind me. How? 22 you losses? Oh, God. Is? Yeah, look, 22, 35, 22. Just, uh, would you rather be 91% or 70%? Would you rather be 91%? Or 60%. Would you rather be 100% or 82%? Which one? I, I don't know. All the numbers seem to work in my favor here. And I and I, I just, I, I can't I can't affect these things anymore. All I can do is just keep being right. Uh, and and <laughs> I'll let people follow they may. I, I just say, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, it, it just, I challenge somebody to tell me I'm wrong. That's all. And it's not an alphabetical order, Joe Ranieri. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, we, we, we have, we have, I'll be on with also, Tokyo Brandon on first pitch later today. Absent from the leaderboard because apparently okay, he's now got that, 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 Now that was uncalled for. All right. Would you like to talk oh, no, about the NFL days. preseason? Last 30 days. Last 30 days. There Good he job. Is. He's to be over the last By the way. Days. Last 30 the days. Way, if you, what? If you click the MLB tab on the leaderboard, I'm right there next to you, buddy. There you go. You and me on the leaderboard together. Thank you for being a friend. I love how I say one thing and I get the so thumbs down. Man. Like we're like I'm a gladiator here. Go to the MLB leaderboard. I'm behind a guy who is four and oh when I'm five and oh my half game in front. Check your unit size, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my unit with you people. Okay. <laughs> There's a select audience I will discuss my unit with and it's not any of you <laughs> folks out there, okay? My ROI is 100%. I haven't lost in 10 consecutive plays. 10. I give it a 10. 10. Okay. 10. Would you, you like, like to, to talk back? about the NFL preseason? Can we get no. back to our regularly scheduled program? I, you don't want to, to do that? Well, <laughs> I'd like to go to baseball first. Okay, we're going to go to baseball. Who's running this ship here? Uh, well, okay, my cat. That's who's in charge. Okay. Until I take a yes. loss, I'm taking over. So you sit back right. there and I'll steer the damn ship. <laughs> all right, my sergeant. I don't know in charge. This guy right here. Let's get all right. Let's give him a play. How about you give your half of the double play? How about you drop some knowledge? You're, you're ten and zero. You want to give the people another winner? Please. Get, <laughs> I feel under attack. I don't even know what you're talking. There it is. Brew Crew Braves. The Braves might is. get swept today, Zeno. You don't think they're going to get swept. Chaz Morton on the hill for uh, Atlanta. God, the, the Braves are like a, a live abortion right now. They just you can't watch this. <laughs> like it, it's bad. They have been outscored twenty-five to five in their last three games. It's pretty pathetic, actually. Uh, nonetheless, they get Charlie Morton on the mound. And look, I've said repeatedly for the past two seasons, Charlie Morton is either feast or famine. It's either six innings, one run. Or five innings, six runs, and that's that. So you got to get good Charlie Morton today. But they're facing Frankie Montas. Now, Frankie Montas was acquired from the Cincinnati Reds by the Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee, of course, Algonquin for the good land. Um, And in his first start, um, the Brewers won an 8-3 to game where Montas went five innings and gave up three runs. However, he did give up nine hits, including a home run. 
Strangely enough, Montez, uh, who has a 5.03 ERA on the season and a 1.5 whip, those things are what you call not good. Those things are the opposite of being 10-0, and 0, uh, which is good, but not being in first on the leaderboard, which is not good. Anyway, I digress. Uh, go back to July 24th, which wasn't that long ago. Frankie Montez was with the Reds, started a game at Truist Park against Atlanta, lasted four and a third, gave up 10 hits and four runs to this Braves lineup. Reds won that game, but still, uh, we can get some offense here from Atlanta, which has really been struggling. So, um, you know, kind of contemplated maybe cutting this game in half, but given the fact that the Braves' offense is just, man, uh, you're going to need all nine at-bats if you need all nine at-bats. So I know it's a little hefty on the juice. I would endorse a first-half uh, run-line play on the Braves as well, but given the situation here, I'll just lay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll lay the juice and. Pay minus 145 for the Braves to win on the money line and avoid getting swept at home. Hi, I'd like to talk about the Nationals and the Giants today. Are we, are you, I'm well, going to give Zeno a chance to cool well, off here. You just tell me what you want to talk about. <laughs> yes, uh, I will give Zeno a chance to cool off. By the way, smash that like button if you're riding with Mark on the Braves. I don't, not your hometown Braves, but your, your no. current hometown Braves. All right. I'm going to, I do not live in Washington. I don't live in San Francisco, but we're going to talk about this game. I cashed a first five winner with the giants last night. I believe you were on that as well. One of your 10 straight Mark, uh, but no Blake Snell today for San Francisco, obviously, since he pitched yesterday. Instead, it's Kyle Harrison, who is a lot worse on the road than he is at home for his career. 5.02 ERA away from home. That is nearly two full points higher, Mark, than his ERA at home. 5.12 xFIP. And he gives up way more home runs on the road than he does at home. Meanwhile, you look at the other side, Washington, DJ Hers, better starter in this matchup, uh, in my opinion. He's allowed just five runs on 10 hits his last three starts. Harrison, his last time out, he allowed more than that. Six runs. Gave him four homers. Uh, we talked about the home run problems just a second ago. I, you know, the Nat, I considered doing full game here with the Nats. I think their bullpen's in better shape, but to me, it's all about this starting pitching matchup where Washington has the edge. By the way, San Francisco looking to get over 500 for the first time since late May. So uh, that's been a problem for them getting above the Mendoza line. I'll cut this one in half. Washington first five money line. Note this game, uh, the first pitch has been moved up due to the effects of Hurricane Debbie. So it is an early start on Thursday. So double play, Washington first five money line, Zeno Braves full game money line. Would you not like to talk about some NFL, sir? Can we do that now? Is, no, it, is sure that okay with you? You want, to, you want to do the best bet first or you want to do the NFL first? I mean, you let's know. make him wait. Let's make, let's make him wait for the best bet. Let's if Joe Ranieri starts yelling at me in my ear, then I'll just do whatever he says. Why don't you all just do it? There we go. Betting the NFL preseason. The graphic is up. We're going to the NFL here. We have two games tonight. Yes. The, all right. The, uh, Pan the Panthers and the Patriots. I'll let Panthers and Patriots. The Panthers were the worst team last year. I think they're the going Panthers over their season. The worst this year. Year. <laughs> yes, there you go. Uh, uh, low total, a lot of points. I don't think the Panthers are playing anyone uh, that is any good. Uh, it looks like Plummer is starting a quarterback for them today. Any thoughts here? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's a lot of points. It feels like it, but the, the, clearly there's a reason why. I mean, is, is New England starting Drake May and starters and Carolina not? I haven't seen the, the rub on you know, what that starter situation it, it, is like. Their quarterback room is looking a lot more promising than what Carolina is going with tonight. That with Plummer, this line started shooting up when Carolina said uh, Plummer is going to be starting. So uh, you know, a bad team with its backups, I guess, is understandable. But to me, Mark, I'm looking at this total. What it's down to 33 and a half. The Patriots uh, are like, laying. I, I would go first half under to be honest with you. Okay, okay. I I, I think I'm, I mean you got, seven's you got a lot of points out there. You got seven teams out there. Do you really believe these offenses could put up two touchdowns and a field goal? No, nah, you know, probably like, not. Yeah, I, I, I just don't see it. it. Unless the Patriots' offense is clicking, and you know they're going to run a full complement of Drake May or whoever it may be for a full quarter, um, and that's the hard part. You really don't know. Um, and right now, you got a pretty diverse ticket split uh, on the total, with sixty-nine percent of the tickets on the over, but ninety-two percent of the money on the under. So, yeah. Um, and guess what? If it ain't going under early, at, it ain't going under late. It ain't going under Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, by the way, two first-time head coaches here. So that angle, you know, that's always something people yeah. look at in the preseason. Yeah. First-year head coaches, especially if it's their first time as a head coach, often a little more motivation. Certainly motivation is one of the, uh, you know, key handicapping factors in the preseason. But we've got two first-timers here, so that cancels each other out. Uh, your New York Giants are in action. German. They are hosting the Lions. It has been a spirited week of practice between these yes. two teams. Sir, uh, uh, and an, an expensive one because they both got fined. But again, given the fact that um, you're going to get next to no starters playing, these two teams beat each other up for the past couple of days in a joint practice. We saw literally beat each other up. Um, you're not going to get any of these main starters playing all that long. Uh, and there, I, I'm seeing on the Wager Talk odds screen right now 17 and a half for the first half under, meaning you got to get like, you know, three touchdowns or four scores, two touchdowns, two field goals. Uh, first half under is kind of what I feel like is really worth a play. I think the Giants could come out stronger, personally, just because they're the team with more to prove. You know, it's yeah, not – I don't – I don't, I, I don't, yeah. I mean, I, I don't like the Giants this year. But, I mean, the Lions, they're thinking they're thinking big picture. So, I don't know. The Giants may be slightly more motivated. I might look at them in the first quarter to come out strong. But this is another game, Mark. You talked about the ticket splits in that uh, Panthers-Patriots matchup. I'm looking at the Wager Talk live odd screen right now. 73% of the tickets on the over here, 72% of the money on the under. And look at which way the total's moving. We had an opener of 36 and a half. It's down to 34 and a half. That should tell you something right there. So that's a little NFL preseason talk for you. Two games on Thursday as week one of NFL X gets started. Don't forget about that two for once or buy two months, get August free special. We've still got going on. Time is running out. To take advantage of that, I believe that only goes through this weekend. You get the whole preseason, first two months of NFL regular season, first two months of the college regular season. We throw you, you will not be charged for August. August free of charge when you buy September and mm. October. All right. Uh, is there anything you would like to promote before we get to today's best bet? Other than the lack of leaderboard accuracy? No. Uh, I will just have one play. Up on the site in Major League Baseball today. Yeah. Well, thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> 10 and 0. 10 and 0. 10, 10 and 0. Oh. As in, oh, pretty, snap. pretty good. Oh, this leaderboard. Uh, WT.buzz slash MZ. We're only doing one Major League Baseball play. Short card today. Um, so we'll get that. I might sprinkle in a little NFL preseason too. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what materializes the more I, I dive into a little, little bit today. But definitively one baseball play. We may get an NFL preseason play there. WT.buzz slash MZ. Continue to come uh, follow the third place guy who's undefeated. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm five and one the last two days. Thank you very much. So winners all around from Mark and I, whether you're talking here on the morning wager, whether you're talking about our client releases over at wagertalk.com. Make sure you're question. subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. When you and go on first comment first down today, below at your favorite play. My ten and zero record on first pitch today. Are you? Are, are you going to? I'm supposed. I'm supposed to pump your record on first pitch. Yes, that's what I'm that's doing what good here. Do. That's what good partners do. When I speak of you, I speak well all the time. Oh, you do. Every show. Yes. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't know that. Wager, I said, Brian Power said this morning on the morning wager. Brian Power did this. Brian Power I did that. I say that all the time. Check the tape. I always oh, say, me and my I, good friend Mark I, Zino. Mark Zino. I would, I would, I would tell you. <laughs> That even at 10 and 0, everybody should be following Zeno. <laughs> the cheers are here. Mark Zeno, my good friend. You know who else is my good friend? The Cincinnati Reds. It's been quite a wild ride in 2024 <laughs> with them. <laughs> it's been such a wild ride. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. Imagine that. It's sports. But uh, they lost last night after taking the first two in Miami. We think mm -hmm. they're going to bounce back, but, you know, this is something we do a lot, Mark. We cut a game in half, and we lay the half run to reduce the juice, and that yep. is the approach we're taking here with the series finale between Reds and Marlins. Talk to the people why they should lay the half run in the first five with Cincinnati. Particularly the starting pitching matchup in the edge for Hunter Green, uh, who's been very good as of late. I mean, a 2.83 ERA on the season, a 1.02 whip. Guys, he hasn't, been, he hasn't allowed a run in any of his last three starts. That is a span of 20 innings, giving up five hits, no runs, and, oh, 23 strikeouts. In fact, uh, he's allowed 
one run or less in, what is that, six consecutive starts now. So the last time he gave up more than one, not including the All-Star game, uh, which doesn't count, but you have to go back to June 25th of the last time he went and started a game and gave up more than one run. So you and I have been riding these hot pitchers as of late with Dylan mm-hmm. Cease, Nick Snell, and everything else. Let's, let's stay on the hot pitcher train right here with Hunter Green, who is going up against Kyle Tyler. Um, there's too many YLEs in the same name. That's disturbing. Like, that's bad parenting, you know? Because you feel like it's... <laughs> oh, here we go again with the names. Here we go again. <laughs> I just have this... I have an issue with parents who don't think about their children and the, 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 the agony they will endure for naming them stupidly. It's so Kyle, Tyle. It just sound ridiculous. Anyway, so anyway, uh, bad, bad name is 0-2 with a 5.27 ERA and a 1.76 whip. My God. Um, he, and, and he a has not, either. Oh, he's allowed at least two runs um, in <laughs> each of his last four starts. Only gotten past the fifth inning in one start this year. So don't expect to see him around for all five innings. Anyway, long story short, Reds minus a half on the first five, and uh, we'll reduce the juice. Let us know down below what you think of that selection right there. Comments. We love the comments. There's been a ton of comments. Uh, on the uh, YouTube page for this excellent. show. So I had a couple days. Excellent comments, but that's okay. I can take it. Well, some of, it's okay. That they love you. I love you, Zina. We all love you. You're not like I said. You're not. You're number one. You're number one in our hearts. Uh, right there. I don't know. People are throwing baseballs at me. Apparently now. I think we know who that is. All right. I will be on first pitch, and I will pump up Mark Zinno's ten and zero run on that show because that's what they want. That's what he wants me to do. That is what my sergeant is telling me to do here. Uh, we will be back tomorrow morning. Is there something I've forgotten? By the way, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. There's the leaderboard. Mark Zinno's on it. Not as high as he'd like to be, but by God, yeah. ten and zero. Like it. not in first. <laughs> ten. Not sure if you've heard. Him. There we go. Here's talking about number one on the leaderboard. This jam. I mean, it really is. It's no work out. I believe they call this the banger. The banger right Billboard Hot 100. Does Billboard exist anymore? You know, the Billboard Top 100 of these Billboard is correct. The cabbage patch fell out. There we go. John Mineo, welcome to the party.